are here at King's Dominion. Now I've heard so much about this park for years and it's an incredible top two of Intimidator 305 and Twisted Timbers. Now today we have fast passes so I think that we should be able to get on a bunch of rides even with the fairly packed Sunday that this day will probably be. We just got off of Twisted Timbers, two back-to-back -back rides, one towards the front and one in the back. That's actually a really solid RMC. It's definitely running a bit slower because we rode it in the morning, but that's a great ride and I love the barrel roll drop. just got four back to back to back to back rides on Intimidator 305. Oh my god, that roller coaster is so insane. That's definitely one of my all time favorites. That was incredible. got off of Dominator. It's not a bad ride at all, but I've just ridden so many B&Ms and they all feel the same at this point. It's not a bad ride though. What's a lot cooler though is that you can see the track and supports for the brand new for 2022 free spin. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I just got one last ride on Intimidator 305, making that five on the day. That coaster is definitely one of my all-time favorites. It is so smooth and it's so aggressive and intense. Oh my god, I love that thing. We then went over to the park's 1982 wooden coaster, Grizzly. This ride has a really funky entrance that you can only access through a gift shop, and it isn't even super obvious that that's how you get to the ride. However, this coaster was always pretty surprising to me. I had never seen a POV, but I had heard that it was fairly smooth and gave fantastic night rides because it took you out deep into the woods. After I rode in the back car, I can pretty much agree that it's pretty smooth. Yeah, sure, there are a couple of rough patches on this ride that do give a little bit of jackhammering here and there, however, it is by no means unbearable and does not ruin the ride at all. However, my main issue with Grizzly was how forceless it was. Honestly, besides a couple, maybe one or two airtime moments throughout the ride, and maybe a turn or two that gave laterals, this coaster really didn't do too much for me. It did have a fun tunnel, but other than that, it was just a smooth wooden coaster that takes place in a pretty awesome setting, and even though I was unable to get one of those so-called incredible night rides on Grizzly, I know that this coaster would be incredible to ride at night, as you go so deep into the woods and there are no lights back there at all. However, for now, this coaster stands for me as just fine. Pretty smooth, but also pretty uneventful, but still a fun wooden coaster. Definitely hope that they don't remove it, as it is for sure a classic. 
that is going to wrap up our day at King's Dominion. You can see our ride count on the day right here, and for a fairly crowded Sunday, we definitely got on a great amount of rides, including five on one of the world's best coasters, Intimidator 305. This is actually one of my favorite Cedar Fair parks, and I definitely recommend a visit to King's Dominion.